This is Troy from the Do It Yourself World and the Off Grid Project. I, um, what is it? It's 5 30 in the evening. Evening. It's pitch black out. Uh, 5 30 in the afternoon. First time I've touched the camera today. I, um, worked on the laptop most of the day. I, uh, was working on websites, updating some stuff, uh, working on videos, catching up on comments. I get about 2,000 comments a day across my channel. Working on the forum, improving some things. So today was a web day. It was sunny, although you'd never know it now. It was a sunny day, and I think that's all I did with today. That's it. I have been working out in the barn wood here and there, cutting the um, broken bits and pieces up to bring them in for firewood. And, you know, that's not very exciting, so I didn't record that. And that's it. Day is, uh, well, for all appearances, the day is done. Uh, you might notice a sound over here in the background. Let me take you over. Well, I got the Bedini motor running again. And what I've done, I changed the setup of these four batteries, the ones that were badly sulfated. I ran these in parallel. So I've got plus to plus to plus to plus, minus to minus to minus to minus. So all four batteries are connected together in parallel, giving me one gigantic six volt battery, uh, which the Benini motor seems to like. It's running faster. And it's more efficient for the Bedini motor because the, uh, the way I had it set up wasn't exactly so good before. So now I've got all parallel and now this thing is hitting them. And actually the uh, radiant energy, uh, according to John Bedini, is amplified when you put more batteries in parallel behind it. The, the system sort of likes that. Now, here's something I've never done. I'm not sure if this is the proper way with the Bedini motor, but I did put the plus on one end and the minus on the far opposite end. So the energy has to go through all four batteries equivalently as you would do with standard charging. I always just put it on one end and lined up all my batteries in parallel. But I'm experimental with seeing how it makes a difference. Now the Bedini motor, um, I've seen a lot of questions about this, and this is not a perpetual motion device. If I disconnect the power, it goes off. It requires power to run. It will not continue running if I take away the power. So I must put in energy in order for this to work. I make no claims of having a single 12 volt battery charge multiple batteries. In this case, two 6 volt batteries connected together in a series to give me a 12 volt battery is powering the Bedini motor which is then putting a very gentle charge into four 6 volt batteries connected in parallel so normally you could never do that you cannot run 12 volts into 6 without hurting something and this isn't, that's not what this is doing. It's not a direct charger. What happens here is it is putting super fast pulses of energy, of voltage, into the environment. Each time a magnet passes the coil, it turns on a transistor, which allows energy to flow from the battery powering the device, the energy coming in, which is from my 12 volt battery bank. And that causes a pulse of energy to flow into the coil, repelling the magnet. And then as soon as the magnet passes, the collapsing field, here's where the, uh, the good stuff happens. The collapsing field in the coil, what has been labeled back EMF in standard um, electronics and electrical uh, theory, is actually followed by the radiant energy. And generally, we ground that out in electronics. Ham radio operatives can explain to you uh, how they get a whole mess of electricity coming in through their antenna wire. Now, ham radio operators can back this up. 
the uh, well with the new wires today there's less and less a problem but in the older days the antenna wire was actually building up a charge in the lines and could blow up your ham radio and all I'm doing is tapping that free energy yes it's free because it's there to use same as the wind turning a wind turbine is what I would call free energy same as a static electricity generator which is just tapping a field of static electricity I would call free energy so yes essentially radiant energy is free and that I get more coming into these batteries than what I'm using out of the battery bank that runs the system because there's just a matter of mere milliamps coming out of here it doesn't really amount to much but these are getting about anywhere between 200 and 400 volt spikes, pulses of, of energy, radiant energy, which is cold energy and is not going to harm the batteries. And that is breaking up the sulfation, the lead sulfate on the battery plates, reconverts it back into acid. And uh, then they will become usable again. No magic, nothing hidden, nothing secret. No perpetual motion device. If I want to, I can take off that power and it will stop. Well, it'll wind down and stop slowly, but nothing magic. No weird wild claims here. I've seen a lot of people making comments about the Bedini motor. Listen, if you want to mock it, make one first before you sit here and try to mock something that you don't know or don't understand. Um, people who just mock the thing without ever having tried it are just ignorant. Sorry, but it is how it is.